8 seconds ahead of Fleur. Quite an interesting situation here. Welcome back everyone, it's time for some more F1 23 driver career mode heading to the US Grand Prix around Texas, Circuit of the Americas today, 400 resource points for the engine blowout from Qatar last time out. It is in fact the turbocharger that exploded, sadly we've lost another engine component, not ideal at all. So uh, we're reaching the end of the season, we're slowly heading towards the end, we got 5 Grand Prix remaining I think, we will check in a moment's time. So yeah we've got the Circuit of the America's today, so one, and then Mexico, Brazil, Vegas, and UAE. So that is indeed five Grand Prix remaining, including this video. So we got four after this. Currently setting P7 in the drivers, P5 in the constructors. Not too bad for a car that is struggling R&D wise. If you take a look at the R&D progress here, we are second from the bottom. So some upgrades have come through. Let's take a look and see if there no no upgrades really. Control electronics improved materials is free, but we got regulation changes hitting us thankfully a lot of the regulations are stuck with the powertrain and the durability department which we don't have too much in powertrain right now but we do have some in the durability which should be okay to see out the rest of the season and try to protect a lot of them hopefully the team does not invest in any new uh, upgrades in the powertrain and durability Meanwhile, I think aerodynamics and chassis is the way to go considering it will not be affected by R&D changes, so it is what it is. Heading closer to Texas then, this circuit we've driven in F2, but I do not know. Ugh, oh, that is horrible. Horrible to see. So we have a failed upgrade, the intercooler positioning, which would have been nice, a weight redistribution. We do have two protections in the durability, or sorry, we got quite a few protections, five in the durability and two in the powertrain, so that's good. Next season is going to be okay, I guess. But yeah, uh, this circuit I'm not quite familiar with without the racing line, so we'll see. I'll practice during the race weekend, and it's also sprint race weekend, so we'll have double header. So let's see what happens here at the Circuit of Americas. Alright, welcome to the qualifying session of Circuit of Americas. It is pouring rain, but I think it's Inter's conditions because I got Inter's applied to the car, which is fine. Um, not quite certain with the breaking points just yet and things are getting worse with the rain. But let's just set out there and set a lot of time, see how what we do, because what else am I going to do? Let's just see how it goes. Struggling to find my breaking points, struggling in this wet weather. Thankfully, we can just go for it again. So let's improve on this lab. It's going to be horrible. I just know. Excuse me? P3? By about a second off. Okay, much better, much better, much better. Track is drying up as well. Wait. Yeah. I think that's a good lap. Oh, fastest. I'll take it. Let's do one last lap. We have the fuel for it. Finding more grip as the session has come to a close here. Come on. Nearly a second gained. Let's see where that places us by the end of Q1. P8, okay, I'll take that. That is a decent position to make it into Q2. The rain does neutralize the field a bit, so you see George Russell, Verstappen, and Leclerc at the front as usual, myself and Tsunoda in PAP10 respectively, meaning we're both through. Alonso, big name out. Sainz, another big name out. Bottas, Sargent, and Albon all out in Q1. That's going to be interesting. Moving on to Q2 then, it should be dry. Track is just about dry enough. but it's still a little damp. Hence why we're on enters. No DRS is enabled just yet. There's more grip though, that's for sure. That's a slow exit. Hoping to be out 
because that was a lot of grip. I think I should, yeah, P7, let's go. Q3, here we go. The rain is really helping us out today. There we have it, both Yuki Tsunoda and myself through to the next round. Because I did my lap later towards the end of the session, three tenths faster than my teammate. Wow. Joe, Magnus, and Stroll, Piastri, and Verstappen out. Verstappen is a huge name out in P11 right now. So moving on to the final round, let's see where we sit by the end of the shootout. All right, let's see. Moment of truth. How good is this lap? Yeah, let's see. I finished it. P8. I'll take that. I will take that. I think just ahead of our teammate. Considering a track I'm struggling on. Big news though. Pierre Gasly taking 5 position grid penalty. And we're going to be bumped up to P7. That is quite a... Uh, situation there. Um, illegal blocking from Pierre Gasly gets him a 5 position grip penalty. But there may be also some grip penalties for a new engine component. So let's see. Time for the sprint race. Let's see what happens there. Forget pit stops. Forget fuel management. It's pedal to the metal all the way here as we get ready for today's sprint. All right, staying P8 for the start of the sprint, of course. Um, let me see. Can we do this on the soft? It will be a second slower, so I'm not going to take any uh, big gambles here around Circuit of the Americas. It's also a high deg circuit, so I don't want to risk too much. So let's head on in on the mediums. Everyone else should be doing it on mediums as well, I think. Let's see if we can do well and persevere in P8 or maybe go higher. I do apologize if you hear rumbling in the background. It is downpour here where I'm at. Lights out. And away we go. Leclerc having an absolutely poor start. What name something new at Ferrari? Oh god. I slid. Where's my braking? Where's my traction? I think maybe the marbles got me because I was off the racing line. Which is weird. But also not surprising. Cheesing my way up to P3 right now. I missed that turn. Oh, I was on the curve for too long and the plank literally lifted me off my tires there. Alright, yellow flag, yellow flag. Is that just slow cars or is that retirement? Might have been a crash. Alright, I'm going to save some ERS for later. Alright, let's focus. So let's try to get some raw pace going with the car. We can cut this corner. Oh, shucks. Skidding out. That is exactly not what we need. It's a very slippery track for lap one, and then I think we'll start acclimatizing to it as the tire rubbers in and the track gets faster. I'm getting slowly better and better at this track. I was struggling during practice and the qualifying session to really try and find the maximum pace. Like, where's the braking there? I lost control of the car. We gotta fix that. Oh no, green flag, green flag green behind flag. us. What is happening? Someone retiring, it looks like an Aston Martin. It is an Aston Martin, I think. It might be Stroll or Alonso, let's see. It's taking them a while to retire. Maybe waiting, it's Lance Stroll. Okay, I gotta defend against Gasly here, going into the hard braking zone. Yes. But, oh my god, what is that? Gazzy just smashed into me, bro. He just smashed into me. I did the neutral thing, shush. What was that from Gasly? I left him so much space and he just smashes into me. Like, what the hell, man? Oh, heavy duty. Defending now for the remainder of the race, which is 
four more laps. Oh boy. With wing damage now. Oh, another yellow flag, yellow flag. Okay, clear. It's an Alfa Romeo this time, Joe or Bottas. Experiencing engine failure, I guess. Hürgenberg, actually. Interesting. Okay, so it's a Haas that experienced a DNF. I saw Alfa Romeo going slowly, maybe it was stuck behind the Haas. Uh oh. Really on my last limbs here now. Come on, last lap, last lap. Gotta try and stay ahead of Russell here. I am not sure about my breaking points yet. Really struggling, but doing well to keep Russell behind. And also everyone behind me squabbling for positions. Maybe some of these guys are struggling to get ahead because of this fighting. Because look at Pettis and Hamilton ahead. Jesus. They've run away because they had clean air. Everyone's fighting behind me. If it's not between me and Russell, then it's Norris getting in. Oh, that was poor. Come on. Dump the ERS because this is it. Oh my god, look at their pace. Oh my god, why are you rear-ending me? I'm defending on the inside line, you dingus. Jesus, the AI are so stupid. It's like that one arm robot from Iron Man. Literally does nothing useful to the amateur prize. Called him dummy, right? I think. Jesus. Why are you rear-ending me? I'm defending the inside line, obviously. Well, you're lost, mate. And just like that. Bringing it home for P3. That's what you love to see. Oh, that was a good maintenance drive, I must say. Very, 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 very good. That has helped us out a lot, in fact. Uh, Yuki Tsunoda also scoring some points. P6, finally bringing in some points from P9, P6. That's good. P8 to P3 for me. Uh, yeah, George Russell, absolute howler there. Had a huna. But yeah, P3. Um, maybe getting higher up. I don't know if Hamilton and Perez will be taking penalties, but I'm excited for the race. Let's take a look and see what we can do on race day. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off, press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Well, you don't need me to remind you that Formula One is now so beloved in the United States that we race here three times a year. But let's give respect to Cota or the Circuit of the Americas to give it its full name. This place laid the foundations for this moment and still remains the host of the US Grand Prix. It's the Circuit of the Americas then, situated 14 miles outside of the great city of Austin. This is a 3.6 mile lap with 20 corners, 10 to the left and 10 to the right, and top speeds of around 200 miles per hour. Overtaking opportunities are available into turns 1 and 12, especially with that rear wing DRS wide open. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have the rookie, Norris, Sonoda, Leclerc, Ocon, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Bottas, Gasly, Magnussen, Russell, Albon, Fernando Alonso, Sargent, Verstappen, Joe, Hulkenberg, and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Well, here we are, P3 starting position. It is a one-stop race. Um, I will attempt at putting a two-stop in the calculations here and see 
what happens. Um, okay, that is slow already. What if we start on the saws, go to the mediums? Oof, this looks about the same. So it is a one stop. We'll, we'll try the one stop. We'll start on the mediums because I do want to move on to the hards. Um, uh, remove stint. There we go. We'll start on the mediums. Move on to the softs if we can. But I feel like the tire deck is going to be high. So let me just revert this one. Yeah. Okay. So it's 14 laps, 14 laps if we want to do the medium hards. That's fine. I'm going to put fuel back to 29 laps. All right. Let's start this race then. The formation lap gets underway then, and it's going to be interesting today to see how the dry conditions could affect the lifespan of the tyres. As the cars make their way back to the starting grid to form up and get ready for lights out, let's hope the race ahead today is a thrilling one that will go down as a memorable Grand Prix in the history books. Alright, let's see if I can survive here in P3. I should be dropping like a stone in water. Lights out, and we're underway. Oh, both cars, Pettis and Hamilton, had a horrible start. Boy, Pettis got a much better exit, though. I break too early there for the start. Oh, look at Petters pull away. That uh, Red Bull is absolutely a beautiful car. Also, skill issue. I'm absolutely horrible at this circuit without racing lines. Struggling to find the right braking zones, etc. Like, where's the braking there, man? Give me my braking. How could I do it so well with the racing lines on, man? Unbelievable. Oh, my team, Yuki Tsunoda, I'm in P3, man. Let's go. Let's go, friendo. Oh, that turn is an absolute mad one. I always slip. Not bad. Let's push. Punch. Slow, that corner slow, man. Pet is already 2.5 ahead. I am slow, dead in the water here. It's a skill and a car issue combined. Ah, my teammates fighting with Norris. That's gonna give me some breathing space. Finally. bit wide yep we got some breathing room hopefully we can keep this up until the DRS gets enabled finding myself in a very weird position here eight seconds behind Sergio Perez who's in the lead and eight seconds ahead of Le uh, Leclerc who is chasing Quite an interesting situation here. The squabbling among the AI has helped me out a lot here. Oh my god, I'm so bad at these turns. Lost a full second to Leclerc only from the slaloms. Jeez. Leclerc's catching. Oh no, I see Shaw Leclerc now, Hamilton as well. They're closing in. 
I am so bad at this circuit without the racing lines. I need to improve. Come on. Tsunoda is 16.6 behind me. Jesus. Who is slowing them down? What is slowing them down? Okay, Sergio Perez pits. Under pressure from Leclerc now as we take the lead. Yes, we do. I'm going to go one more lap and then move on to the hards. Box this lap. Understood. Stopping this lap. Gonna dip in a little earlier. We have no grip on the mediums and Leclerc is just the problem. So we are gonna move on to the hards. And let Leclerc battle it out with Perez. I think they're gonna continue. Okay. We're in for new hards. Hard, hard, hard. Let's see what we release. I think behind the... Oh, it's a yellow flag and... Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a red flag. Okay, it's a red flag. Yep. It's a red flag. Do I have to go out? Did I just get shafted by the red flag? I don't know. This is a good chance to change our strategy I mean, for the rest of the Grand we'll, we'll we stick it... To. We'll stick on the hearts, yeah. So let's do this. this feels a bit P2, like let's do it. Lights out. Pet is on the sauce. They're surely going to go another lap. Or pit another time. Uh, drive in front. We don't have the data for that, I'm afraid. Oh my god. Absolutely sent it into turn one. Drive in front. Okay, no, nope. what? You idiot. Driver in front. It's Perez ahead of you. Okay, gap ahead is 40.9 seconds. They're on fresh softs. We need to run this lap to understand what their strategy is going to be. It's a drag race between Hamilton and Leclerc behind me. They're closing in on me. We're okay. I need them to fight, man. Give me some breathing room. I need to escape. I'm a sinking duck. Not a sitting duck, a sinking duck. Because this is difficult in a very draggy car. The hearts were a good choice though, because I can really lean on these guys. Compared to the sauce, which probably would have died down by now. Okay. Gonna dump a little ERS, try to make it up the hill ahead of Hamilton. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. Mount a solid defense, wide defense. Trying to bring Leclerc back into the mix here so that they can fight. Okay, here we go. Hamilton mounts an attack now. There he goes. Oh, he's missing a wing plate. Oh, DRS is down, which is not good. I need that. Especially for the last lap. But I wonder if Hamilton's going to lose out some pace. Come on. Yes. Great exit. That's where I always gain positions or gain time. Come on, let's run. Hamilton's struggling. Must have had a collision with Sonoda. And this is it. Podiums in sight. We struggled this whole Grand Prix and it's been a weird Grand Prix. Hamilton pits in fact. What is he doing? Should have just run with it with the broken wing. Now the thing is, it's weird. Like look at how far Perez and Sainz are. They're literally 20, 22, 25 seconds ahead. That's the pace of the AI but the AI has been squabbling behind me and haven't really been making ground. Like if they have clean air, just regular racing, they're up there. But behind me, they've been struggling. I've also been mounting a great defense. I need to concentrate. That was a horrible escrow. I'm so bad at this circuit, man. It's borderline embarrassing. Come on. Tires are gone, man. Tires are gone. 
But I can limp at home, I think. Uh oh. Perez is re or Sonoda's really pushing with ERS, I think. Not bad. Oh, nearly binned it. I am crawling my way home. Oh, inviting Verstappen in. Oh no! Oh! The FIA have allowed it. I would have been in big, big trouble there. But it's the end of the Grand Prix. With luck, a lot of luck, 98% luck, we secure a podium. Jesus Christ. Drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Red Bull today. So, Natalie. What do you think helped them deliver this result? Quite simply, a driver is nothing without the team behind them. So, a deserved winner, but we do have to give a shout out to the team in the pit lane and back at the factory. Very much a collaborative process. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams and they're certainly proving themselves. Yeah, I gotta say, this is one of the more awkward Grand Prix of the season so far. And also, if you guys heard, the fanfare was very silent. So I think th this track is glitchy right now. It is very glitchy for the AI. Look, like I'm quite slow on this circuit. Even Max are stepping slower than me. How is that possible? I had a 136.2 as my fastest lap. 136.8, 136.4? Like, why are these guys so slow? I'm much faster than them. Granted, I probably had lower fuel levels. No, I did not. I set this relatively early on in the race, so I am much confused. Why 110 AI is this slow around the circuit? Huh. I am much confused indeed. So I think this track is kind of glitched. I don't know. But I'll take I'll take a podium. Yeah, I'll take those points. Perez, Sainz, and myself on the podium. Verstappen, Sonoda, Leclerc, Alcon, Hülkenberg, Russell, and Bottas in the points. Piastri, Gazi, Albon, Stroll, Norris, Magnussen, Joe, Alonso, Sargent, and Hamilton round out the finishers. And let's take a look at the standings then. P7 still, but I should have gained on Hamilton considering he was down plum lost. So I am now only... What is it? 19 points? Yes, 19 points behind Hamilton. Alpha Terry are now only 10 points behind Aston Martin, so P4 is still within reach with four races remaining. So things are looking okay, and I'll take this lucky victory or lucky podium. Because, yeah, every point matters, and also P6 in the sprint race, so P3 for both sprint and the Grand Prix. That is some big, big, big points coming our way. But. Next up is the Mexican Grand Prix, so that is going to be another challenge come next time. Hopefully we will be fresh and good to go for that one, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe using the red button down below, hit the notification bell as well, so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for the support. Take care. I'll see you guys for a new video tomorrow.